friends, Hal here. We are going to work on the D chord today. The D chord is one of those really basic, important chords that you really need. So we're going to use three fingers, our first finger, our second finger, and our third finger. So when you play the D chord, what you're going to do is you're going to put your first finger on the G string second fret, your second finger on the E string second fret, and your third finger on the B string third fret, and get this finger right here, get it really close up to the, the fret like that. And you play four strings. I like to play this chord this way. I also like to play it this way, okay, with my little finger. And if you've never done this before, it will probably feel really kind of strange. So one way to do that to get into this chord is to play a D7 chord. Put your first finger here, first fret, B string, these two fingers, on the E string and the G string like this and then just drop your little finger down and you've got a D chord and my ring finger is really close up to that second fret and you play four strings. I love this way to play the D chord because it's really versatile. You can go to other chords very quickly. C chord to D chord or to D7, D, G, A7, D very versatile. One other way to play this chord, and it's really helpful, is to actually play these two notes with one finger, like this. And then you can do other things like, um, oops, when you're doing some kind of a chord progression like that. It works really well to use this finger as a bar for those two strings. You'll notice also that I'm just touching the guitar right here. Like that. My hand's a little bit farther back when I use my little finger. And when I use this finger as a bar, then I bring my hand underneath like that and put my thumb on the back of the neck. Well that's it for the D chord. Thanks for coming by and come back again and we'll see you soon.